Hello everyone. Today we are discuss about multi process single on chip and shared memory multi process multi processor. Multi processor single on chip and shared memory multi processor. A single processor may be sufficient for a low performance application that are typical of early microcontrollers but an increasing number of applications require multi processor to meet their performance goals multi processor system on chip are one of the key application of today mpsoc are increasingly used to build a complex integrated system a mpsoc is more than just a rack of processor shrunk down to a single chip is a definition multi processor is parallel processor with a single shared address multi processor is now the most cost effective processor multi processor have the highest absolute performance faster than the fastest uni processor parallel processing program is a single program that runs on multiple processor simultaneously cluster is a set of computers connected over a local area network that function as a single large multi processor shared memory is a memory for a parallel processor with a single address space implying implicit communication with loads and stores the typical mpsoc is a heterogeneous multi processor there may be several different types of pcs the memory system may be heterogeneously distributed around the machine and the interconnection network between the pcs and the memory may also be heterogeneous mp socs often require large amount of memory the device may have embedded memory on chip as well as relaying on off chip commodity memory system on chip design increasingly become the driving force of a number of modern modern ele- modern electronic systems conceptually system on chip refers to the ingre- integrating the components of a board or to a single chip it looks straight forward but pro- produce predictably levels are too low to make it a relatively reality the soc chip includes embedded processor asic logic and analog circuitry and embedded memory the soc software includes os compiler simulator framework firmware driver protocol stack integrated development environment debugger linga ic application interface c or c++ assembly it is a system on chip block diagram here is a memory and interface and peripherals dsp core it is a embedded software application software related microcontroller and microprocessor then configurable hardware and asic box and unlock to digital and digital to unlock converters then it is the all signals went to the rf signals rf systems and into the transmitter here next one the memory controller interface with the onboard ram dma handle the automated transfer of data between the ram and the memory mapped hardware DSP controller manage the hardware sides of the device USB connection DSP core it provides hardware acceleration for some signal processing such as jpeg encoding display enable the soc to drive various display types camera allows the soc to interface with the camera storage manage input output with the various types of storage that can be used with the soc debug enable the soc to be connected to hardware debugging tools through various mechanisms such as jtag it is supported for java it cons it consists of a pool of pre processors and a pool of memory are connected by an interconnection network <laughs> it is a shared memory the block diagram of the one is a cp1 uh, cp1 and 2 and n interconnection here is the network the connection cable or wifi any connection it's a main memory and main memory 2 and 3 is a main memory and it's a shared memory a shared memory model is often preferred because it makes life simpler for the programmer
The raw architecture is a recent example of a regular architecture designed for high performance computation. Then on the signal address. Offer the programmer a single memory address. Space that all processors share processor communicate through shared variables in memory. With all pro processor capable of assessing any memory location via loads and stores. The next one is the message passing. Communicating between multiple processor by explicitly sending and receiving information. Heterogeneous memory system. Some blocks of memory may be accessible by only one or a few processor. Heterogeneous memory system are harder to program because the programmer must keep in mind what processor can access what memory blocks. Irregular memory structures are often necessary in MPSOCs. One reason that designers report to specialized memory is to support real-time performance. Challenges and opportunities. MPSOCs combine the difficulties of building complex hardware system and complex software system. Methodology is critical to MPSOC's design. Methodologies that work offer many advantages. They decrease the time it takes to design a system. They also make it easier to predict how long the design will take and how many resources it will require. Methodology also modify techniques for improving performance and power consumption. The developers can apply to many different designs. Methodology will necessarily be moving target for the next decade. MPSOC hardware's architecture present challenges in all aspects of microprocessor, processing elements, memory and interconnects. Configurable processor with customized instruction sets are one way to improve the characteristics of processing elements. Hardware or software code sign of accelerators is another technique. Thank you.